Thank you. I love you too. Hello, Wisconsin. Good afternoon, best friend. Thank you for the very warm welcome. And happy Halloween. I want to start by sharing some of important news. Early this morning, our U.S. forces conducted a successful rescue operation in West Africa. Not backward. 
Yeah. By moving forward, we demonstrate a fundamental value of our nation, our ability to rise to any challenge and overcome any hurdle. It's what sets us apart from any other country in the world. We have made great progress in our fight against COVID-19. This virus is one that has impacted every country around the, around the globe. When COVID-19 invaded our country, we first had to learn what it was, how it spreads, and how to prevent it. Instead of unifying our country and coming together in this time of need, the media and the Democrats together chose to attack the administration. It was Joe Biden who accused President Trump of xenophobic hysteria for putting the American people first and closing travel from China and parts of Europe. Now they are saying we didn't do enough. Our actions say otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> President Trump isn't a career politician like Bo, Joe Biden, and Kamala Harris. He's the president with proven results, not empty words and broken promises. I watch Donald continue to work hard to keep people informed and calm, to protect our economy, and make hard and unpopular decisions to do all he could to keep us all safe. Look what we have overcome today. Look at the progress we have made to ensure our children continue to grow up in the safest and most prosperous nation. We now have careful safety measures in place in every city and state. These safety measures allow our children to go back in the classroom. Our careful guidelines are not only keeping people safe, but allowing restaurants and businesses to open and people to start earning and income again. for people to safely start gathering with friends again. Then, this is about mental health as much as it is about the physical well-being of people. And while this year has been an unbelievable challenge for all of us, it has also showcased our American strength and spirit. that we will look back and tell our grandchildren that through kindness and compassion, strength and determination, we were able to restore and promise of our future. I want to take this moment to say thank you to the many amazing frontline workers who are with us today. is behind you 100% and we will continue to make sure the country is equipped with all the medical supplies needed and focus on getting the vaccine developed and distributed as safely and quickly as possible. I believe in our incredible doctors, nurses, medical professionals and scientists. And I believe we will overcome this invisible enemy. <laughs> After my husband became president, it was so disheartening to see the once proud integrity of American journalism became a political propaganda tool of small politicians. <laughs> 
the last four years, the media has relentlessly attacked my husband, choosing gossip and unanimous sources over substance and the success of our nation. The media created a disordered picture of my husband and treated all his supporters with equal disdain. Yeah. I love that guy! <laughs>